What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Gyarados team that also features Garchomp, Iron Hands, and everyone's favorite Paradox Pokemon, Iron Bundle. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. And if you guys have noticed, brand new changes to the channel. I got myself a green screen and I absolutely love it. So hopefully you guys would like it. And if you guys ha have like any advice or like any like little things that you guys want me to change, such as like my microphone settings or my camera settings, let me know in the comment section down below. Cause again, new green screen, testing out for the first time, switch my microphone position, all that good stuff, testing that out for the first time. So if you guys have any suggestions, again, leave them in the comment section down below. But like I said, we're rocking up with Gyarados and Garchomp. Have you used them a lot? in series two but still definitely very strong so hopefully we get to rock out with them and grab some wins but we got iron hands for our first pokemon for today's team preview rock and drain punch close combat fake out and wild charge alongside with that assault vest to make it more bulkier on the special defense side and cork drive as its ability we got gyarados as our second pokemon i absolutely love this pokemon great move set great ability so good all around with intimidate and the citrus berry it's got waterfall protect Dragon Dance to set up that stat boost, and last but not least, we got Terra Blast, which will change the steel with our Terra Typing. Garchomp is going to be our third Pokemon, and ever since Series 2 was announced and Series 2 went into effect, we have been seeing less and less of Garchomp, and that is because of Iron Bundles and Flutter Mains just absolutely wiped the floor with it. But this one's here, ready to rock out for the team. It has Rough Skin and the Rocky Helmet as its item, then having a moveset of Protect, EQ, Dragon Claw, and Rock Slide. Third Pokemon for today's team is going to be Iron Bundle. Or not third Pokemon, fourth Pokemon for today's team is going to be the Iron Bundle. Again, a lot of people like this Pokemon. Super solid all around at speed control and doing some big time special attack damage at the same time. This one has Quirk Drive, holding the booster energy as item, and then it has Protect, Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, and Icy Wind for its four moves. Talonflame is going to be our fifth Pokemon, and Talonflame is a top tier speed control Pokemon. With Gale Wings and Tailwind, it's really unstoppable to stop it unless you have like fake out or something along those lines but all around town flame is just a beast it has focus sash as its item protect will-o-wisp brave bird as its other three moves final pokemon for today's team is going to be golden go big time player in the pokemon format right now with good as gold and the life orb as item this one has make it rain dazzling gleam shadow ball and protect for its four moves Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Not the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Gyarados and Garchomp Series 2 team. First match coming at you guys for today's video, going up against a Dantozo and Tatsugiri team. Of course, we got to deal with that in match number one, but hey, I'm looking for a win here. They also have Gothitel, Titar, Mousehold, and Annihilate combo. So two deadly combos that I have to watch out for. It's definitely scary for me. So I might just lead Iron Hands just to be able to fake out turn one. I really do like that. So I'm going to go Iron Hands. And then alongside with that, Bundle's not bad here. So I definitely want to bring in Bundle somewhere, but maybe not lead it. I could lead it. I could go Gyarados here too, but Defiant seems terrible so i might not go into gyarados considering annihilate is potential lead could go into town flame town flame's got that lovely little brave bird we could take speed control here as well so yeah town flame iron hands i dig it i can get down with that iron bundle in the back end and then last but not least i could go guard chomp i could definitely go guard chomp i could go in with the chomp you got eq you got dragon claw you got rock slide I don't mind that, but something that I am worried about is going to be the Don Dozo combo. But we already have two Pokemon that can kind of get some work done with it, with the Iron Hands and the Iron Bundle. So it's really up to me who do I want to bring here, right? Gyarados isn't bad for that physical attack drop. Can get some work done onto Titar. Golden Go's not too shabby here either. I could go with my life for Golden Go. I feel like it's either Golden Go or Gyarados. One of the Gs. One of the G Pokemon. And I feel like I gotta go with Golden Go. You got the life orb. I like your moveset. You got Shadow Ball. You got Daz and Gleam. You got Make It Rain. You could do some work here. You could do some work. But yo, I'm looking at my software, my recording software over on my other monitor. I'm really liking the green screen. I cannot wait to just like tweak all the little numbers. So my uh, lighting's perfect. My cutout's perfect. I think my dip cutout pretty good. You don't even see like any like fuzzies around my head or anything. It seems to be looking pretty good, right? I just feel like I need to tweak the color a little bit and the lighting on my face to give you guys the crisp, perfect image of me of jeans baby but <laughs> but yeah we're looking for a win here we're going up against annihilate and mousehold and from here um he could just terrestrialize and i really do see that happening right i can definitely see a terrestrialization happening i do want to go for a fake out but i don't know if he is going to go 
Or what, what he wants to do here. I could just Brave Bird. But I'm going to set up a Tailwind for a squad. Mouse will just protect. Okay, so smart little protect here. I get off a Tailwind. He can kind of roll after it. And I think I just Drain Punch into that next turn. Get back as much HP as I can. But I wonder what Annihilate's doing here. Just hit me with a Rage Fist or something? What are you using? What are you using? You do have EQ. I know that. Bulk up. Okay. No bueno. No bueno. Uh, could double down into him here. We have speed. We do have speed. But I definitely just want Drain Punch to get back HP here. If need be. So I'm just going to do this. I could Willow Wisp you down. That's going to have to be my play. I don't think a follow me comes out here. I think just like the beat up combo comes out here. Correct? Seems like the best bet. So I'm going to throw a Willow Wisp onto this thing. My Talonflame can eventually just outspeed it next turn. If it survives its hit, we know it's going to be a problem. But we need to land a Willow Wisp. Willow Wisp can be big time for us. Maybe I should throw a Willow Wisp turn one. If I was faking out. But the scary part about mouse holds is a lot of them are ghost terror type. So it could just be a problem for us. It could be a problem. So Willow Wisp comes out here. It connects. Beautiful Town Flame. I love you. Love this bird. Love this fiery little bird. And it's a big time burn. That's a big time burn on a big time physical attacker. Encore is going to come out here. You're going to Encore me? Okay, looks like you're getting swapped. Looks like you're getting swapped. So if he does that, is he going to bulk up again? Potentially, right? Potentially. Yes. <laughs> so now I have to swap again. And he might even protect Annihilate or follow me. He might just come out here. That's scary. Uh, so I do have special attackers in the back end that can chip up some nice damage, but... Iron, uh, iron, iron Hands has, has to be swapped, right? Swap them into you. You're not too bad. You got the special attacking moves. I really do like you. I'm just hoping the ghost move isn't coming into this slot. And then from here, I can just Brave Bird you down. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get off as much damage as I possibly can. God dang, Encore. You Encored by Fake Out. Encore, that's the only problem with Iron Hands. So slow, he can be Encored Fake Out very, very easily. <clears throat> So I hard swap my irons. This is a solid match, but Annihilate, it's a problem. Good thing we brought Golden Go. If he doesn't Rage Fist into this slot, we can be sitting pretty good here. Brave Bird's gonna fly. He's plus two on defense, and that does... I, I like that damage. I don't think that's bad damage, considering Annihilate's plus two on defense. Beat up combo's coming out here, and I think he takes out Talonflame, right? I think he does take out Talonflame. Or at least goes after Talonflame, right? Yeah, takes out Talonflame, if he hits him. Rage Fist, go into Talonflame, please. That's into... Oh, my God. That's into my Golden Go. That hurts, man. That's into my Golden Go? That's awful. Bad swap from us. Bad, bad swap from us. But we needed that Golden Go to get out there. Okay, so now we're sitting here. I think from here, he pretty much just uh, followed me out, right? Follow me as Gotham coming out here. I could fake it out. I could fake him out. I want to do here. Then he just encores me. I, I'm not dealing with the encores. This is terrifying. I could go into the iron bundle. Hmm. I'm going to go into the iron hands. I'm not even going to fake out. I'm just going to punch that little mouse. I'm just going to hit that thing with dream punch. I'm just going to rip into that thing with dream punch and then just brave it again. The dream punch coming out here. And then we're just going to Brave Bird again. Hopefully we get like a crit or something and we just take this thing out. But a follow me is probably the best move for the mouse hole, right? If he terrestrializes follow me, whoo, that can get ugly. That get ugly. But Annihilate's a problem. And I have a weird feeling they have the Don Dozo combo in the back end. So this match is not looking good so far. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. We shall see. We shall see. Again, super scary with Annihilate bulked up two times. We allowed it to happen, but they made great plays to actually allow themselves to, to go with that. Predicted the Tailwind. Did all that good stuff. Blocked the Fake Out as well, which was smart. And just set up the bulk up. So it was a really smart play from our opponent. So we'll see what they want to do. They're thinking long and hard about this one. No. No, don't be the mouse hold. Do not be the ghost, the ghost mouse hold. I'm not looking. All right, now I'm going to look. Okay, Fire and Alley. That's, that's a smart play. I thought that was going to be the mouse hole. Mouse hole protects. Wow. Big time protect from mouse hole. He's looking to just rage fist me down. Great. And that, that terrestrialization helps him soak. Another brave bird might be able to KO. But we do get to bring out our boy next turn, which is really good for us. Iron, iron, uh, iron bundle. Who's going to be faster regardless of Tailwind. 
The Rage Fish can come out here. That's gonna take out Town Flame. That's fine. I can take out. I can take out Annihilate, no problem. I can take out Annihilate, no problem. I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about these two right now. I'm worried about the back end two Pokemon. Because again, we just land a Hydro Pump. We take out Annihilate, but Drain Drain Punch should be able to deal some big time damage onto. Ooh, he can actually follow me the shot. Which I think is gonna be his play, right? I think we just protect the bundle, right? I think we just protect the bundle and we go for the, the close combat KO onto the. Uh... Do we even close combat? I think we just drain punch. I think we just drain punch here. Look for the KO onto the mouse hold because I feel like the follow me has to come out here and then he has to go for like a uh, a rage fist into my iron bundle. So I'm just gonna protect my iron bundle here. Oh, dude, the mouse holds are adorable. They, they really are. They're adorable. But again, I think we should be fine here. I really do. So here comes the protect from my bundle. My lovely little bundle. I'm predicting to follow me here. Yes. And we're, we need Drain Punch to pretty much pick up KO. I was going to close combat, but I really don't want to drop my defense. And the Drain Punch comes into my bundle. So that's exactly why we protected the bundle that turn. Come on, Drain Punch. I need you. I need you here. That's exactly what I need. That's exactly what I needed. The good play from us brought us back in here a little bit. Now, the problem would be if the Don Dozo combo is in the back end. And I really do think it is. And I think we just get torn up this first match. But still, it's a long, drawn out first battle so far. Again, I get rid of Annihilate on Q now. No follow me's, none of that stuff. I can legit just Hydro Pump it down. And I'm not sure if it's Rock and Protect. I really am not sure if it is. I haven't seen it use Protect. Correct? I don't think it, I don't think it protected so far. And Don, oh, ouch! And Don Dozo comes out here. Don Dozo comes out here. So you know what? I'm just gonna wild charge this slot. I'm just gonna hydro pump this slot. If you swap, you swap. I can deal with it. But this is gonna be my play. This is gonna be my play. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't swap. Maybe just protect Don Dozo, and we just hydro pump ripping into that, and then we can double down on Don Dozo with no terrestrialization allowed. Could be pretty good. We still have our terror, don't we? I believe we do. But I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. I am gonna save it. I know Iron Hands is fighting. I think bundles is it's either water or ice. And I'm kinda hoping it's ice at this point. Ice could be solid for us. Especially with freeze dry. Hydro pump missed yo! Yo! That might have just lost me match. That might have just lost me the match. Drain Punch, we're able to soak. He's gonna yawn me. That's a that's one terrible scene right there, right? That's one terrible scene. Wild Charge coming in hot here. Chipping him some big time damage. That hurts right there. I, I, come on now. That hurts right there. We might have had this match on lock. If we land that Hydro Pump. We land that Hydro Pump. We have a full HP Iron Bundle that's only yawned, right? My terror was water. Hmm. We gotta go for another Hydro Pump here. I'm hoping an Eye not Rock and Protect. Again, I don't think I've seen it Protect yet. There's really no point for us to Terrasalize. It's going to do nothing. So, I just don't, I just don't see the, the, the Terrasalize play yet. Maybe we should have used it early in the match, but dude, that, we, I think we win this match if that Hydro Pump lands. Because an Eye gone, we have a full HP Deli Bird. We have, then we can take out the, uh, oh yeah, Dantozo's gone the next turn with a wild charge, even with his defense boost. We still have a shot in this match, we really do. We really have a shot in this match. So Annihilate ends up protecting, he's gonna put my Pokemon to sleep. You double protecting? No, you're solo protecting. And what are you going for, Dantozo? You going after my, yeah, you're going after him. So he goes after that. And you might not even brought Tatsugiri. You might even not have brought him. Now we get rid of Don Dozo. My Pokemon's asleep. Kind of hurts us all. And we'll see whose final Pokemon is. It might be Tatsu. And if it is Tatsu, we, 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 I think we lose regardless now that we're asleep. But Annihilate finally protects. Perfect timing. Again, if that Hydro Pump lands, we would have been sitting so pretty. Again, let's see who his final Pokemon is before we, before we say anything. Because just think, it would have been a 1v1... Pretty much Iron Hands and Sleep. It would have been Tatsu Gear. We would have won this match. Pretty sure we would have won this match. No problem, right? Would have won this no problem. I'm going to go for... 
close combat, I guess. And hope my boy wakes up as soon as possible, <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I'll double down into this Annihilate, I guess. But yeah, our only way of winning is, is if we get a KO onto this Annihilate and my Deli Bird wakes up. So, bundles slumped. Slumped! Probably double down into my Iron Hands. Here goes Drain Punch. We're able to eat that. We're able to eat that. And yeah, Tatsuki is just going to outspeed. And take out one of my Pokemon as choosing. It goes for a Draco Meteor as well. <laughs> just rips into my Iron Hands. And that's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's. But yo, solid first match. Really did like how we played. We didn't use our Terrestrialization, but we didn't really need to. But again, I feel like we lost to that Miss Hydro Pump. I really do. It would have been a lot closer because I don't think that Tatsugiri is taking out my Iron Hands with that Assault Vest with that Draco Meteor. Again, it would have been a 1v1. I would have just started Dream Punching that thing down. My bundle would have woke up very soon. And I really do think we would have won that match. But hey, starting off with a loss, let's hop to our second match. Look for our first victory. Second match coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves our first victory. Going up against Flutterbane and Iron Bundle alongside with Water Tauros, Golden Go, Amoongus, and Volcarona. I really do like Gyarados in here. I mean, Gyarados isn't bad. He has Intimidate. He's going to be super effective onto the full Corona. I do like that. And I also like... Mm, not really. I do not like Garchomp. I was going to say, I also like Garchomp, but Garchomp is a mess here. Flutter Mane's going to dump into it. Iron Bundle's going to dump into it. That's exactly why you see less and less Garchomp on the rank ladder, especially for Series 2. But who should I lead here? Bundle's not bad. I, kinda, I can get down with the Bundle, right? I can definitely get down with the Bundle lead. Bundle's going to be perfect lead. We can also take Speed Control for the rest of our team with Talonflame. I do like Talonflame. I could also see him leading Volcarona or even Amoongus. I'm going to go Talonflame here. Talonflame Iron Bundle seems like to play. I will bring Gyarados in the back end. And then last but not least, do I bring Gold to go or Iron Hands? Questions, questions, questions. I do like Iron Hands considering he's so bulky, but Golden Go with the Life Orb could be the man. Could be him. I kind of want both of them. I kind of want both of them. But I really want to use Gyarados. Who do I want more here? Probably Golden Go, right? Yeah, I'm going to go Golden Go. Sorry, Iron Hands. I really like Iron Hands, though. I really like Iron Hands, but I'm going to go with the Golden Go. I am going to go with the Golden Go. I just feel like uh, Flutter Mane's too much of a problem. And if we can have a Pokemon like Golden Go to come out there, slap up on it, no problem. It could be good. Especially with Tailwind, we can completely outspeed them. Unless they're just icy winning us down with their uh, Deli Deli Bird. But I feel like this match should be good. I feel like this should be good. And I feel like we should be able to grab ourselves a win here in the second match. Yeah, that first match. Still upset about that Hydro Pump. Whenever I need a Hydro Pump to land, it always misses. All day long. All day long. But Town Flame and Bundle come out here against these two. And I don't mind this because I'm thinking. I'm thinking instead of Tailwind in this turn. I'm thinking of just straight up Hydro Pumping and Brave Burden. Right? I think that's our play. I really do think that's our play. Just straight up attack. We have the typing advantage right now. Force them to Terrasize. Force them to make a move or something like that. And try to get rid of them. And if both my Pokemon survive next turn and he brings out a faster Pokemon than my Talonflame, because my Gale Wings will be gone, I can always just Icy Wind down considering I have Booster Energy Iron Bundle. Icy Wind it down and then uh, slow them down and have Talonflame set up the Tailwind from there. So we'll see. But the problem would be if uh, Tauros Terrasize and just uh, Raging Bulls or big time ice or water move into my town flame but again we'll see he just protects that's totally fine because if we land this hydro pump that could be bye bye volcarona baby bird with the miss we get our gale wings back and come on hydro pump you missed last time need you here that a boy that a boy iron b that a boy big time damage not enough to ko and this thing's just gonna quiver dance which i am not worried about not in the slightest not in the slightest. And I feel like from here, it's just a, uh... Uh, do we freeze try this? Freeze try Brave Bird? Could be your play. Because I think Taurus might even Thrastalize here into straight water. A lot of them are just straight water, right? So I'm going to Brave Bird down this Volcarona. I don't want to hear Quiver Dance already. That's fine. We did, we got off we got off plenty of damage for that quiver dance to not really be anything viable. So again, we're not gonna tailwind again. We have speed. We're just gonna be full offense while we can. And we're gonna we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna do it this way. Cause again, we had a great lead typing advantage all on our side. Might as well use it to our advantage and just just straight up try to get rid of some Pokemon early on here. 
He's gonna end up withdrawing the Tauros. Who are you gonna go into? So I got a lovely little free strike coming in hot here. Who you got coming in here? Amoongus. That was a an odd swap. Very odd swap. I'm not gonna set up Tailwind again. That is a terrible swap. I guess you just want to intimidate back. I guess, right? I mean, freeze dry KOs. Freeze dry KOs. I am very confused at that swap, but okay, sure. Whatever your little heart desires. Freeze dry KOs. And we're going to Brave Bird. Because if you think about it, if I was going for a Brave Bird into that Toro slot, why would you swap into another Pokemon that is weak to flying moves? <laughs> it just makes no sense. <laughs> no sense. I guess he just wanted... I guess his idea was just like... Or her idea was just, uh... You know what? Let's just sacrifice the Amoongus, keep the Tauros and Intimidate alive, and just go from there. But now comes the Terrestrialization from Amoongus. A lot of them have been water ever recently, and I'm kind of hoping it's staying water. But we'll see. Odd, but okay. Odd, but okay. Probably trying to spore one of my Pokemon down. Or just Rage Powder. So big time Rage Powder comes out here. Raper, can you just straight up KO? Be a doll? No, you do not. Freeze Dry? I don't even think Freeze Dry can KO. It does. Okay, so Freeze Dry picks up the KO. We might want to set up Tailwind now. I'm not too sure. Tailwind could definitely be big, big time for us. The golden go and Gyarados in the back end. I really do. I, I would really like a tail in here. So Heat Wave. Wow. Dumps on my bundle. Dumps on my bundle. I know it's plus one. I know my talent flame still outspeeds. I really wanted my bundle for one more turn at least, but I guess we're getting dumped on there. Uh Gyarados can come out here. They do not have terrestrialization, so Golden Go is not bad here either. I think we just bring out Golden Go, right? I think we just bring out Golden Go. Golden Go is going to come out here. Again, I can set up Tailwind. I can take speed for the rest of the match if I want to. I might want to do that. It's just going to be Tauros. So Tauros comes out here. Intimidate's going to come out. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. I think I'm just going to protect him and go for a Tailwind. I think might have Aqua Jet. Ooh. I might waste my terror just to guarantee us setting up this tailwind. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I gotta guarantee setting up this tailwind. We need the speed. Speed is gonna be lovely for us. That's 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 my play all day. That is my play all day. We need the speed. They don't have Terra anymore, which is huge. I need to guarantee myself setting up this tailwind. So if they want to go for an Aqua Jet, it would KO my talent plane normally, but with straight flying, we should should be able to soak it up and then outspeed and get off this tailwind. So I already know talent flame outspeeds the uh the Volcarona, which is big time for us. Definitely, definitely big time. But I know I know a lot of Tauros rock Aqua Jet, so gotta play up against that. So it ends up protecting the Volcarona. That's fine, we're protecting our Golden Goat just in case as well. And we'll see what he wants to do here. No Aqua Jet. Wow, that's very weird. That's very, very weird. But I'll deal with that. Raging Bull comes here. Can we soak that up? We don't. Okay, so we pretty much just wasted Terra, but it was more for like a hey, just in case kind of moment. That's exactly what it was for. It was a just in case kind of thing. Hmm. So now we are sitting here, and what is my play from here? Do I set up a D dance? I could set up a D dance if I want to. I could definitely set up a D dance, and I'm thinking of doing it. I'm thinking of just shadow balling, KO and you, and just setting up a D dance. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to get this Gyarados set up to win this match. A little bit of Gyarados D dance action. Yo, I love Gyarados. I love his design in this game too. Really dope. But I wonder what our opponent's doing. This is a solid battle. This is a solid battle. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. But Volcarona and 
Tauros. He can rage and bull me. I believe it rocks close combat. He's not he's definitely not gonna close combat my golden go because it won't affect him. A shadow ball flies. KOs you all day? Yes. So you are gone. Big time tailwind from us. That's exactly why I use my tower for that. And then what are you going for? You gotta be going for a rage bull in the golden go. You dance out and about. And I, I think Golden Ghost should be able to eat up a Rage Bull. Especially because it's minus one now that Gyarados came out here. And then we can just get after it. But I'm super surprised he did not. Oh, you have Mirror? Never mind. Golden Ghost might be dead. That's bad. That's bad news. Can you soak this, please? You can. Okay. That's actually big time soaks. Wow. Mirror. Look, it's scary. It's plus one on speed, too, now. But again, we still outspeed. He's gonna go on a flutter main, and this is just this is all day. Right? This is all day, just make it rain, right? All day make it rain. Make it rain. And I could just terror blast this thing down, which I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna start terror blasting this thing. I wonder what he's gonna do. Because I don't think he has Aqua Jet. He would have used it against Talonflame, right? Or she would use it up against Talonflame. That just seems like the call, but every single Tauros has Aqua Jet. And I don't understand what his moveset would be without Aqua Jet, right? Protect, Raging Bull, Close Combat, and, and Aqua Jet, right? Or maybe Wave Crash. It just seems like Aqua Jet's it. But if we can get off this big time, make it rain, that could be really good. Terror Blast gonna fly here. It's gonna deal some. Oh, actually, a, not a lot of damage at all. Make it rain comes out here. And that KOs the Flutter Main. So that's big time place for us. That's big time. That really puts us in the driver's seat. So no Aqua Jet might have just lost our opponent in the match. But Taurus is definitely going to Rage and Bull again. And take out my Golden Goat. Yeah, Golden Goat's gone. All right, so now it's a 1v1. We got full HP. I don't really see him having any crazy moves. Waterfall might do more damage considering that Terror Blast was ugly. That was an ugly Terror Blast. That was an ugly Terror Blast. I'm gonna go for the Waterfall. See how much damage Waterfall does. Plus we get a flinch chance on top of that. I'll take it. I think it's a 10% chance of flinching. And Waterfall just KOs. Not very effective move doing more than that Terror Blast. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Solid second battle from me and my opponent. We end up coming out on top. We're sitting one and one. Final match for today's video coming at you guys. We're sitting one and one. Let's grab ourselves that winning record. Going up against Fluttermane and then another Dondozo combo. Dondozo, Tatsugiri, Dragonite, King Gambit, and Gothitelle. So this one's looking tough. This one's definitely looking tough. We need to Iron Hands and Iron Bundle just in case the, uh, the Dondozo comes out here. Plus, they both work wonders on other Pokemon. Golden Ghost is pretty solid here. Garchomp is not. Garchomp is not. We have Garchomp on the team, but... Just really can't bring him. Series 2 is just such a rough ride for Garchomp. You can't really do much about it. But Iron B might be our lead. Same thing with Golden Go. We could go Iron B and Golden Go. Which I don't mind. Iron B, Golden Go could definitely get some work done. With the booster energy, all that good stuff. I do like it. I could go Iron Hands here as well, but I like it. I like the Iron Bundle and Golden Go. We'll bring Iron Hands in the back end. And then we'll get our lovely little Gary the Gyarados out here, right? Gotta love Gary the Gyarados. We'll lock it in. We'll lock it down. But yeah, Series 2 is just not for Garchomp. It really isn't. Like, there's too many Flutter mains going around. Too many Pokemon that just outspeed it. Super effective to it. It's just it's just awful. The only way Garchomp would be viable is to just use like a, a worse terror type on him. Like fire or something. Which could work, but it's just like, why would you when you can just use a different Pokemon, you know? So Garchomp's really struggling in Series 2 here. Definitely really struggling. It, it does work well in weather, but that's about it. But again, Flutter mains and Iron Bundles are pretty much on every single team for Series 2. Having that, just saying that says like Garchomp's dead. Like you got the ice moves, you got the fairy moves, you got the water moves if it terrestrializes in the ground, still ice is super effective at the ground. It's just ugly. It is just real ugly. Real ugly for Garchomp. So I wish I would have been able to get it in, there, in here for you guys, but just simply cannot. Simply cannot. Fluttermane and Dragon that come out here. We like that. We like that. We like that. I do like that. I do adore that. And I think I am going to slow down. These little boogers. With a nice little icy wind. Slow them down just a tad bit. A little icy wind action. Someone's gotta protect. Someone's gotta swap here, right? And just drop a nice lovely make it rain. Let's make it rain here. With the lovely little golden go. But I love gold. I love golden go. I I love its ever like how it evolves. Like gimme ghoul, get the gimme ghoul coins, search all throughout the Paldea region. <clears throat> then evolve your gimme ghoul into golden go. I wish they had more cooler evolutions, kinda like that. 
we have to go search around the whole Paldea region. But I feel like, again, like next game is going to be even better than this game with the open world aspect. And they're really going to like throw in a bunch of good stuff and fix all the glitches that this game had. Which, I mean, it didn't bother me. I saw a blast like roaming through the open world and all that. But still, there was definitely some fine tuning that they could have done to this game. They're going to end up throwing out Don, Don D. And they're going to double swap. Tatsugiri? Double swap into the, the, the Giri combo? Is that your play? I mean, I'll just freeze right next turn, but we are going to slow this thing down just a tad bit. Wow, double swap. That, I like that play. I really like that play. That was a really solid play. A really solid play. Definitely a really solid play. So from here, I could just freeze right. I could also swap into iron. Iron hands. I could swap into iron hands. But we chip up damage, but we get to slow down. We do have to swap golden, though, right? It just makes the most sense to swap swap the golden, though. Do you guys pronounce it golden go like me or gold dango? Some people pronounce it gold dango. I've been here in half and half. Not too sure. I, mean, I will always say golden go. Even if it's actually gold dango. <laughs> but <laughs> I've just been saying golden go for since day one. But yeah, we're just going to go for a level little free stride. They might end up tearing here. And I could go in the Gyarados and drop its attack. But again, Iron Hands is going to be a tad bit better here, right? A tad bit better. We got Wild Charge. We can Fake Out. We got the Drain Punchies. We got a lot going on. A lot of them have been Dragon Typing. Or Steel. Ooh, Steel's a little scary. But we do have Drain Punch if he wants to Thrasalize into Steel. We'll see. So all of his stats are plus two. Tandozo Sushi Chef Fish, right? It's like a Chef Fish. It has like a kind of like a Chef bandana on its head see that look at that looks tough i love don dojo and this is really this is another really cool thing that they added was that 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 combo right there like two pokemon made for double battles right one hops in one's mouth it's so cool it gives it boost and stuff i love it at the cost of making it a 2v1 i think that's super super cool so we're gonna end up seeing a translation into what typing what typing exactly kind sir steel like i said steel dragon a lot of them. A lot of them are Steel Dragon. That's going to help them out bulk this lovely little water shot coming in here. Or this ice shot, I should say. But we have Drain Punch ready to rock here. And we got a crit. We'll take crit. I was wondering why I did so much damage. Or going to come through here. And that is going to boost its attack. So it's attack stack going through move. I could swap it and drop attack again, but I feel like it has to protect here, right? I feel like it has to protect. So from here, we're going to Hydra Pump it. And just go for a Drain Punch. Or do I fake it out? We're going to fake it out. We're just going to fake it out. It's probably going to protect. If it protects, it protects. No big deal. And it does not. So good thing we went for the fake out. Did uh, probably like one damage there. But more importantly, it makes him flinch. And lets us land his Hydra Pump. <coughs> so we bring him down to half HP. Well, now he's back. God dang Don Dozo. Back in the green. Back in the green. And I feel like from here, it's just a simple protect you and just go for the Dream Punch. This is going to outspeed. I think he goes for another order up into... Actually, he could be going for an EQ. If this thing's rocking EQ, that could be scary. It could be scary. But Dream Punch can give us HP if he does hit my Iron Hands here. We still have the Golden Go for the back, which we love. And we still have... Gyarados. So Protect comes out from the Iron B. We're hoping order up comes into that slot. And he just protects it up. I'll give it to him all day. It's a really smart play. Really, really smart play. Really, really smart play. Very, very smart play. I could go for double protect. I mean, he's got to be going for order up. Because so I could swap into Gyarados, drop that. But I think it's I think it's the end of the road for Iron B, right? I'm going to try to land my double protect. And just go for Drain Punch. I'm going to try to land Double Protect. Iron B. Iron B. I wanted that Double Protect from him so bad. EQ. We still don't EQs anyway. The EQ comes out here. Oh, why so much damage? Why so much damage? <laughs> Almost takes out my Iron Hands. And a Gyarados Swap would have been nice. Drain Punch does not KO. Green Punch does not KO. This is so annoying. I should have close combat it. 
I would think I would think it would KO, but it's plus two. Um, gotta go into you. Gotta drop your attack stat. EQ is terrifying. I have no protect, but I don't know if it's still gonna EQ. I just start waterfall chipping, right? Well, it's swapping the golden goes not to play. Could tear into fighting, but I just wouldn't do it. Drain Punch would now KO for sure, so. He might even protect this turn. He might even protect this turn. God, man, the Dozo. That was a really good swap early on from our opponent. He was just like, yo, I'm gonna swap it right now, just send out the combo. But I never realized Iron Hand's hands has like little glitters in them, right? It's <laughs> just glittering around. So waterfall, oh wow, we outspeed you? Ow. I just got the Lord and Savior flinch. Gary the Gyarados with the Lord and Savior flinch. I love you. I love you, Gary. That was the Lord and Savior flinch right there. The Poke Gods, Arceus at Ayo Jeans. I got you with this one. Here's a little flinch keeping you in the battle a little longer. All right, I'm about it. Gotta use it to my advantage, we take those. Wow, we got we got the the Pokey Gods flinch there. Wow, I will take that all day long, all day long. And Gyarados was probably just able to outspeed that. Beautiful, beautiful. So now look at the Tatsugiri just staring at my Gyarados. She's like, "Dear Neptune, look at this thing." <laughs> like Tatsugiri's just looking straight up at it. All right, let's see who they go into because we know they have Fluttermane. We have Golden Go in the back end, but the problem is Fluttermane's gonna outspeed Golden Go, and our, we have Ghost Terror, which is just no bueno. That's definitely not good. Um, play here would just be I don't know. Waterfall's not really working too good. I think Fluttermane pretty much wins in the match. So what do I do here? Protect. I'm gonna go for a D Dance. I think like we need a D Dance up. And I'm just gonna drain punch across this thing. Try to get some more HP back. Break a meter is terrifying. 80 HP. Puts me down low. Oh, don't hit me while I'm down. We do have the Citrus Berry, which is great. We're gonna recover. 47 HP. He's gonna go for a Dragon Call, which... Which we get a Sash! We get a free Focus Sash! Yeah, we should've lost the battle like 10 years ago, but... Arceus says, yo, 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 Jeans, you wanna stay in here a little longer? I got you. Drain Punch coming out here. Giving us some more some more HP here. And I feel like we could hard swap here. I'm gonna waterfall to KO you and I'm just gonna wild charge this thing down. I mean it's probably multi-scale right now, but still I'm gonna go for the wild charger. I'm gonna hope that Gyarados can outspeed Tatsu now, but Tatsu's definitely sash. Or not sash, uh choice right it's attacks minus two now it's special attack i should say he ends up protecting okay let's see how this one plays out here waterfall gets blocked dude this match is wild dragon i hear you going after dragon call me <laughs> surviving on four yo our opponents not having it Definitely not having it. Definitely not having it, right? I'm just gonna do same, same, same moves here. Same moves all day. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. But the Pokey Gods gave us a chance here. But I don't think we we can beat Fluttermane, right? I just don't think we can beat Fluttermane. It's a problem. It outspeeds me, so I'm pretty sure it outspeeds my Dragonite. Oh, not my dragon, not my Gyarados. Ah, man. It's a problem. Fluttermane's a problem. We still have Golden Go, but again, he outspeeds. Shadow Ball kills me. We don't like that. E Speed comes out of here. Oh, no, not E Speed. And yeah, now that's game. Okay. The Poke Gods gave, it, gave, us, gave us the best chance at winning that, but. Yeah, we, we, were, doomed. we were doomed from that swap. That was, a, that was a heck of a swap from our opponent early on to double swap the Don Dozo and Tatsu Gear because we had a strong, strong lead. We had a strong, strong lead. Golden Go is going to be our final Pokemon. I don't see us doing much up against this, right? 
I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see much going on here, right? Make it rain. Ain't gonna do nothing crazy. We still have Terra. I could go for Gleam here. I'm gonna go for Gleam here. See, we, we might have a shot at this. We're, we're orbed, we're orbed. But again, Flutter Man, just gonna come in your Shadow Ball me. Unless it's not Rock and Shadow Ball. I've seen a few who don't Rock Shadow Ball. We'll sure, we'll, we'll sure go for it. Because Golden God has a chance for picking up double KO. It definitely KOs the Tatsugiri. But Tatsugiri is just going to protect here. I'm not worried about Tatsugiri. I killed it in one shot. Dazzling Gleam's going to fly. Can we KO Dragonite here? We don't even KO Dragonite. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that, that's game. He's going to hit me hard. Wait. Low kick? Sweet. Okay, hold up. Hold up. We're still here. And we outspeed it. And we outspeed it. We just don't outspeed the Tatsugiri. We're hoping Tatsugiri can miss the, the, the Draco Meteor. But again, I already know what's going to happen. We are going to get the double KO. And he's just going to pop through here. Big Fluttermane. You Shadow Ball. Fluttermane's going to be like, all right. Send my Golden Go into Oblivion and win the match. But still, the Poke guys were like, yo, Jeans, I know you need this battle longer for a little bit more content. For, for the Jeans community, I got you guys. But yeah, we got, what do we get? Two free focus ashes there. And we had a 10% flinch on a waterfall, which saved us from being like completely swept. It was ugly. It was real ugly. Real ugly match. But again, this is where I wish I didn't have a terror type besides Ghost, right? If we had a steel terror, we can, we would win this match. But the sheer fact that we are Ghost Terra is just atrocious, right? It's just terrible for us. It's just terrible. Do I use it anyway, right? I think I have to use the terrestrialization anyway. We're, we're, we're weak to it anyway. Naked Rain's definitely a play. It does more damage. We could protect and see what our opponent's using. Nah, we're terrestrialized. We're making rain in it. We're, we're doing this. We had steel. If we had steel. Oh, if we had steel. My soul is just hurting. But we have this. We have ghosts. We're dealing with ghosts right now. Our opponent's probably like, phew. Thank the Lord, ghost. And yeah, this is this is what I said the whole time. We were dead. We were dead from the get-go. We were dead from the get-go on that. See you later, Golden Go. You are gone, kind sir. That's game set match. That is game set match. One and two for today's video. Great three set of battles. One and two for today's video. Wish I would have grabbed ourselves a winner record. Just couldn't get it done for you guys today. I wish we had a different terror type on Golden Go and Garchomp. I love Garchomp, but he's just so hard to use in Series 2. I don't even think we got him out there. I don't even think we got him out there, but still, everybody else really thrived out in today's video. We lost very close matches that definitely could have went either way. And we're high up in the masses here. We are about top 1,000, so we're versus some good opponents at the same time. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.